<laughs> All right, so you guys are uh, making your way towards the center of the city, much where Atticus, you had seen the flames starting to get more intense towards the middle of the city. So ahead, you start to hear cries of terror and sounds just crashing, wood splintering, stone grinding. And as you're getting closer, people are running past you screaming and fleeing and screaming to the top of their voice and they're yelling oh the 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 lava monsters they're setting all of mole master on fire run well, I for think your we're lives going the right direction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one guy yells we're all going to die you can tell this guys fresh out of the you know oh, out of the gushing down. eyeball tavern or something you know this guy's where's the party we're, we're all gonna <laughs> die, man! And he turns around and he's like, points towards the direction. He goes, that way, man! And you can see, you know, a sort of like a really beautiful figure kind of run across, and you can see him take, you know, some kind of fire and just throw it out of his hands onto, onto one of the rooftops as it catches <laughs> it on fire. Now, Dude. yes, and, and you run up and everything just starts to become, you know, you can just start to feel the heat around you because it is a cold night. And then as you round the corner, this is what you see. So I'm going to share another map with you guys. All right. Man, I just moved to this city, and this Very, city has gone downhill fast. Yeah. Mole Master is That's in deep shnikes right now. So as you guys round the corner, you guys are on the, the right-hand side of the map. You can see that, you know, a lot of the uh, these little booths that people sell stuff in the marketplace are all on fire, and you can see a bunch of magmen, and you can see someone as you kind of look to your left because you're leading the way, Graven. You see someone literally dancing in the middle of the road, and he's holding a paintbrush, and he's just kind of waving the paintbrush in the air and he's yelling as he's kind of turning in circles and doing a little a self dance holding his finger up on his top of his head as he's twirling around like a ballerina he says oh the flames <laughs> I paint the pretty flames I paint the flames and he's just you know waving his paintbrush all over the place not doing a damn thing of course but you see these uh, hideous lava men, these, you know, beautiful lava men made of a, uh, like a red hot glass, all kinds of vibrant colors just kind of swirling on them. They definitely looked man shaped for sure. And, you know, as, as he's dancing, he's kind of going, oh, it to you. And he kind of points his wand towards, well, his, uh, not his wand, but his paintbrush. Or a wand, you don't know, it's kind of dark outside. And he points it towards one of the, the magmen, and he just kind of just takes a ball of lava and lobs it over on the roof. Lava all over the ground, all over all of the kiosks where the merchants sell their wares. And uh, smoke is everywhere. And this guy is just, you know, painting the air. We found Team Andrick. <laughs> so, what do you think? You guys, this chaos is everywhere. And then all of a sudden, you see several guards start to join in across the way of you. And these guards are starting to, uh, several guards, two guards to be exact, mm -hmm. they jump into the fray, engaging the magmen on the other side of the way. So you can see cool. them as well. Awesome. I think Team Andrick needs an arrow. <clears throat> <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, flames for you and flames for you. He's very, very flamboyant. So I take it this is initiative, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right. Roll it. Let's do it. Graven just kind of marches out in the middle of the street. Okay. Ooh, Curly O, the one in it. Nice yep. roll. Gildan? You saved the best for last, Curly O. That's all you got to say. Every time I roll a one, which is most of the time I say, we're just <laughs> saving the best for last. <laughs> yeah. I'm, just, I'm just perusing my options. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Graven, you're uh, up, sir. All right. 
Um, hmm. Is this gentleman seem to be the cause of all this, or is he just making a lot of noise? <laughs> He's just making a lot of noise. You don't see any magic coming from him or anything. But he does, as he kind of turns this way, he does fit the description of Andric. Because, you know, back in, you know, when you guys were back at the actual, uh, uh, the art studio, you could see portraits of him. He had painted himself several times. And plus, Remind me, Andric is the villain. Uh, no, Andric is the painter. Yeah, he's the painter. He, he's the one that did all of the, the painting. <laughs> but he's also the villain. You know, and, and it's like, you know, uh, as like has said, he possesses some type of mystical power that he imbues his paintings and he just captivizes, capti- you know, captivates everyone who looks and appreciates his paintings. So, All right. it doesn't um, say he's evil per se, but he. It seems like he's the cause of you know the this madness, and he does seem like he's quite out there, uh, quite a bit graven because he's just, you know, being so flamboyant and and not not just because of being flamboyant, but he's also speaking to himself and he's speaking to himself, dancing to himself. Pointing his uh, what appears to be a paintbrush or a wand at the at the magmen all over the place, that's yeah, yeah. pretty uh, pretty crazy. So I'm going to move to there. Sure. And Graven is going to ready uh, an action to uh, to attack if something comes near him, something like a magman. Okay. Well, you do notice this magman here as you. <laughs> Go over to one of the oil-filled lampposts. This magman here, magman three, does look at you, does see you, and it looks like this thing comes your way. It's starting to come your way. Cool. Um, and that's me. Uh, I'm done for the moment. Okay. So we'll go to uh, Gildan. We're in round one. Good job, everybody, getting set up. I like it. Oh, right. some flames for you. Some flames for you. Sorry, I'm just having fun. <laughs> don't mind me. Never, don't mind. Never me. apologize for that. I never love apologize. it. Never. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna move up to there, and then I'm gonna cast uh, True Strike. All right. So True Strike. Let's uh, let's take a look at let's let's open that up, Gildan. Let's let's use our great spell list in Fantasy Grounds and pull that. There we go. I dragged it to the chat out. window there. Oh, I like it. There it is. Great thing. You can just click on that in the chat window. Thank you. Or you can access it through the, the library. Or when the, the new 3.2 patch comes out, there will be a spell section to choose from. Nice. All right. So, true strike. One action, 30 feet, concentration, up to one round. And you extend your hand and point a finger at a target in range. Your magic grants you a brief insight into the target's defenses. On your no, next turn... Five feet more. Yep. On your next turn, you will gain uh, advantage on your first attack roll against the target, provided uh, that the spell hasn't ended. So I will tell you about uh, your target is what, Magman? Uh, uh, actually, I'm going to do it on Andric, sorry. Okay. Andric, he is wearing absolutely nothing except for the robes. You, you can tell that he is very light. Uh, uh, he has a very light defense. You could probably waylay him pretty good. He looks to oh, be. Oh, yeah. He looks to be. I will say this. He looks to be pretty nimble, though. So he's probably got a pretty high dex, uh, dexterity. So you're going to be aiming at an AC 14. Okay. And I'll tell you uh, that information because of two true strike. Okay. Of course, take the AC-14 part of it, but, you know, he, he does look nimble, and it doesn't look like he has any armor on, so... Got it. Okay. Uh, and that's it for me. Just okay. for next round. All right. So you will uh, have advantage on the target. Let's go to... Uh, oh, the Magmen are up now. Holy cow. So the Magmen, <laughs> these, these guys are, you know, several of them are still... The first one still takes something and and throws it, rawr, throws a glob of lava on top of the roof, and poof, you can see it ignite, and, you know, a couple other people run out, ah, oh my gosh, one woman wrapped in a towel, you know, this is a, uh, this is a bathhouse, and, and she's running out with a towel wrapped around, and another guy with a towel wrapped around his waist, and they just go off into the night, so, after this magman throws the lava, he's going to move up, and he's going to take his max movement, which is here. Looks like he's starting to uh, move towards 
you know, looks like Graven. Now the next Magman, uh, he he's going to stay he's going to stay fast, and he's going to continue to lob uh, on the stables here. He's going to just lob some lava up there. All right, the next Magman. This is the one that was uh, uh, facing you, Graven. So you can go ahead yeah. now that that is uh, activated. You can take your uh, at held action and attack. Drop the hammer on his head. Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. So, wah, wah, wah. yeah, that is a, that's it for you. Nice fumble as you kind of lose uh, and stumble and fall down and and you get caught up. Basically, get caught on that uh, that oil lamp there. But no problem. You get back up onto your feet. That's All right. Nice. It's an epic fail. <laughs> so the next magman, he he gets up to about <laughs> right here, and and You've just, seen yourself he on stops. Them. All right, next Magman, he's going to attack this guard. So he attacks. Oh, and he crits the guard. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The guard, you could just hear him <laughs> scream, Ah! As he's just on fire, and, and lava is... You know, attached to his face, and the flesh is just melting off as he's just starting to be totally covered. Unbelievable! That guard is totally screwed. <laughs> so he's gone. All right. So next, we've got another magman. He's going to attack the guard he's engaged with, which is guard one. He reaches out and tries to touch him, and he misses with a nine. Magman. He starts to walk up a little bit holds his position. Atticus, your turn. This is going to be a fun combat here. Okay, I'm going to uh, run up um, and uh, since we noticed uh, Andrick waving his brush around in the air, I'm going to point the staff at him and say drop it. Nice. Oh, going to charm him? Nice. Uh, no, it's a command. Okay. It'll make him drop whatever he's holding in. And then ends its turn. So let's see. Uh, so command. It's a wisdom you... saving throw. Okay. That would be good. You can just, uh, let's see if he. Uh, Actually, I think I have, or... I have command on my sheet if you want me to do it. Sure. Oh, I can, I can roll a, a wisdom saving throw. What target number do I need to beat, Atticus? Oh, 13. 13? Okay. He fails. Andrick fails. So you command him. It's just a simple command. It's not like jumping off a cliff. So you say, drop the drop your weapon is what you're saying? Drop your utensil? Drop the brush. All right. He just drops it and he goes, ew! Ooh! I've dropped my utensil. All right. Anything else for you? No, I moved up. Okay. You gotta, you gotta. Got it. Yeah. I was so, so okay. I'm, I'm trying. You know, I'm, 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 I'm engrossed in being so flamboyant with, with Andrick. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now we've got uh, the guard retaliating on the magman. And he's using the spear. He's one of the one of the town guard, and the town guard misses. He he doesn't look like he's probably been in a tavern all night or something. All right, so now we've got a couple more of these uh, guards that are starting to run into the picture. As as you can hear, all right, men, let's go, let's get them. And a couple more guards now start to join in. So the first and guard. Yesterday, Dickens come yeah. along. Yeah, he runs up to the magman and he attacks with his spear. He swings viciously and misses. Then the next guard comes up behind him, and he says, I've got your back, mate! We'll take this sucker out! And he attacks, hitting with a 22. And he hits the magman for maximum damage, which is 7, so this thing is now wounded. And you can see, you know, if you're kind of gauging the battlefield, and you can see that this thing has a wound open up and lava kind of dripping and pouring out of it. All right, Curlyoa, Team Curlyoa, what say you? Uh, I'm going to going to charge up 
to here, safely behind my uh, allies. <laughs> okay, so and then I'm what? going to. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm going to uh, shoot a acid orb at. at I mean, uh, yeah, acid orb at this uh, magma number four. Okay, sounds good. From chrom chromatic orb. Cro Ooh, burning spell slots. Wow, that's yeah. a hit. Wow, very nice. What kind of uh, what kind of orb are you throwing? What what type of elemental damage are you giving to it? Acid. It's uh, I, That's I right, basically acid. spew it out of my mouth, and it was like a giant version of the small one that I that I normally do. All right, kind of lobs over there. Nice. And this thing, yeah, this thing is just, it seems like you kind of just extinguish it for a little bit. And then all of a sudden, as it kind of crumbles and melts, it kind of catches on fire. All of the acid that just has covered it is now kind of flamed a little bit. But it is gone. Flaming acid. Good job. Nice. Yes. Anything else? Any other movement? If you got any other movement left to take, you want to take it? Um... Yeah, uh, no, I'm going to stay right there. I'm good. Okay. So uh, let me ask you this, Atticus. With command, uh, I can pick that wand back up, right? There's no... He actually does it on the, on his turn is when he does the command, I think, right? Okay, so he doesn't. It's uh, let's sort see. of like a precast, and then on, on now on Andrick's turn, he'll go, Oh! I didn't drop the, the wand, right? And then end his turn, I believe. Let's okay. Let's see. Follow, follow the command on its next turn. Okay. And then right. it and he, he drops whatever he's holding and then ends his turn. So yes, he can pick it up again, but not this turn. He actually drops it and it okay. ends his turn. Yeah. Thanks. I, I wanted to clarify that because I thought there was a some weird mechanic like that involved. So yeah, as you know, you command him. He he drops his wand and he goes, oh. I've dropped my utensil, and he and he goes to down and pick it up, and and that's his turn. So, but he's just standing there in the same spot, uh, just kind well, of. Well, he'll have to pick it up on his next Atticus. turn. So hopefully okay. we can stop him before he picks it back up. Sure. Yeah, he's he's just dancing around, and still, even without his uh, his utensil, he's just. It seems like he's just painting the air, and and nothing is happening. This guy is just. He's he just seems whacked. All right, so we're up to round two in Graven. It's your turn. This I will continue in your swing face. my hammer at this magman. Okay. Uh, you miss the magman. Anyway. Graven is going to swing at the magman uh, and then uh, Star Trek style. He's going to move around him. So as not to provoke an opportunity attack, but perhaps to it. give one of his allies an opportunity to... Uh, uh, to attack as well. I love it. I, I will. Uh, I will prove that. All right. So, Gildan, you, you're. Um, I got like three things thing I want to do. <laughs> you can dance around a creature and never take an attack of opportunity. I love That's it. right. Because I'm right here. All right, Gildan. You said you got mm. three things. What do you think? I got three things I want to do, but I can only do one of those three. <laughs> so. I'm like, should I should I mage hand his uh, little wand away from him? Should I attack the magnet? Ooh, or should I take my that's a good strength? idea. I, I think I'm, I think since he's dropped the thing, I'm gonna go ahead and and just ignore my true strike that I had from before. I'm gonna spend my action to cast mage hand and use mage hand ledger domain to uh, grab it and pull it back towards me. Wow, so that is, that's awesome. So, Mage Hand has a range of 30 feet, so I'm right at 30 feet right now. Uh, spectral Hand floats in an area within my range, and let's see, I can use it to control the hand, use your action to control the hand, uh, manipulate an object, open an unlocked door, still retrieve an object, pour the contents of a vial, and then, uh, let's see, move the hand to 30 feet each time you use it. So, uh, so I'm going to cast it at 30 you. feet, pick it up, and bring it right back to me, and then just grab it. Grab yourself an inspiration for that idea too, Gil. That's 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 awesome. And remember, you guys, you guys can give your inspiration to other people too if they need it. So, great job. You take the you know your your uh, mage hand comes out, whisk out throughout the night air, kind of illuminate everything as it goes by. 
and it picks it up and brings it back. And Andrick, he just he puts his ha- both hands over his mouth and he goes, "Oh, you picked up my wand because you picked up my brush for me. How sweet of you!" Yeah, and You're I such tell him a it's... nice person that he starts to walk towards you. I'm going to go ahead and move back a little bit to here so that I have to draw attacks of opportunity. I'm going to move back maybe. Actually, that, that's good. And I'm going to say, time to paint some happy clouds for a change. Oh, I think he's stealing the artist's <laughs> paintbrush. Oh, I think I'm going to have to get mad now. And then he, he looks like he's starting to get really pissed off. <laughs> Very nice. All right, so let's do some more Magmen. <clears throat> All of a sudden, at the end of his turn, you know, as a, as a free action, Andrick says, Kill the thief that has the artist, the maestro's paintbrush. This is all of my minions. <laughs> Kill the thief. And now all of these, all of these things start to... And kind of look over toward you and go... Looks like they're all uh, starting uh, to move uh, in uh, now. Uh, all right, so th- so the I mean, first. I that's not funny at all. <laughs> all right, so the first one moves in 25 feet, well within his movement, uh, and he. And as he's moving, he kind of illuminates himself, so fire kind of like starts to, you know, engulf him. I'm not talking as it's in like shooting, you know, flames out, killing everything around him. But uh, all of a sudden he illuminates, and now this dimly lit dark area is now super bright where you guys are at. And in fact, all of these magmen start to do it. So now this thing gets up to you, and it reaches out, and it it just mumbles something. And let's see if anybody can uh, speak. This. I'm sorry, I don't speak magmen. Blah blah blah. <laughs> And I'm, I'm using the awesome language filter that Fantasy Grounds has, and it doesn't seem that anybody in the group can understand this. So this magman says, And then all of a sudden he just reaches out and tries to hit you. All right, so Gildan, the attack is a 16 versus armor class. It does hit. So I want to I read this really quick. <laughs> All right, so it's a hit. You're going to take fire damage. You take a total of five fire damage. All right, next. Maybe they'll follow the paintbrush. Maybe we just lead them out of town. Like there they're a go. Pied Piper. I don't lead them to the Thane Embassy. <laughs> That's right, now you're thinking. <laughs> I'm like two birds with one stone. Let's get this done. All right, so, Grayman, this thing leaves your... Uh, it, it's not adjacent to you. It, it leaves your reach. It sure is. You can get an attack yeah. of opportunity. I will take that attack of opportunity. <clears throat> Since the prevailing trend is to go and try and kill my friend. Ooh! That's why uh, miss this time, too. All of my creations. Oh, or not. Get the thief! He has stolen my paintbrush, my most prized possession. <laughs> that looks like a hit. All right. Oh gosh! All right, so it's a hit. So good. All right, very nice. Twelve damage to this magman. Very nice. This thing is in a. Uh, it's in pretty bad shape now. Let's see. Uh, which which one? Uh, let me add that damn. Remember, you gotta you gotta target these things, Chris. Oh, with, I have to do all the damage dice on him too. Yeah, it, it's no problem. I, I added uh, the damage to it. Well, you don't have to roll it on him. If you control yeah. click on the token, it'll it'll remember your target. Or if you, or you can, I, or you I, can I, just I drag the, the uh, chat on attack chat. on him. But... Yeah, it doesn't remember between rolls unless you have it targeted specifically. Sure. Or don't forget, if you know, you can always take it from the chat box and drop it on. But no problem. I've yeah. already added the damage on the magman, so there you go. All right, so he's taking uh, uh, some damage. So let's go ahead and move on to the next magman, which is on the guards. 
Uh, this thing is going to attack the guards first. So it will uh, attack one of them. Hitting the guard. Uh, the guard is very badly damaged as he's on fire, and he starts to dr stop, drop, and roll. And this thing is going to leave the area. Now these two guards are going to get attack of opportunities as well. So this will be Come on, guards. Two and number three. So the first guard is using its spear. <clears throat> the first guard misses, heavily intoxicated, of course. The second guard that's on fire it misses as well. Too much in pain, probably. All right, so let's go next to uh, the magman that's up here on the other guard. He's going to attack the guard first with his touch attack, fumbling, and uh, he, he basically is not even going to get any movements because of the, the fumble, and he kind of staggers and whatnot. And the, uh, the last magman, he starts to uh, move forward as well. Four, five, and six, 30 feet. He is going to attack Atticus. So, wow! Welcome to the to the fight tonight, Atticus. You're getting attacked for the first time. <laughs> are they uh, Are they still talking, or are they just just that They're one mumbling. time? They're mumbling. Yeah, just oh. as the you know during this six seconds of, of combat, it seems like they're kind of mimicking as he uh, says something in a language. So, Atticus, you're being attacked. Atticus, you are hit. Atticus, you will take some fire damage. You'll take seven fire damage. You are uh, heavily wounded. Now we're to Atticus. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's see if I move away. That's trouble. So. You can disengage if you want to. Or yeah, that's true. I can. I can try to comprehend languages. I'm not sure that's gonna help. I was gonna. <laughs> Would we would we be considered fighting um, Andrick? Would you say? Probably. Would He's we be ready. considered in a fight with Andrick? It seems like he's sort of out of it. So I was just, I don't know. Yeah, he he uh, he definitely seems to be in a possessed state. You can tell that from being a cleric. Yeah. Well, no, I just the, the charm spell specifically says if you're fighting something, it gets mm. advantage. Yeah, absolutely, because he's commanded everything to uh, to attack the you know the thief that stole his paintbrush. Yeah, yeah, that's so what yeah, I figured. So once, yeah, once you I, lost I would the say brush. yes. I would consider you fighting fighting him, and plus he's commanded all of the magmen to uh, to attack. Okay, well that limits the options. Um, is Graven near us? No. <laughs> Not. Oh, As man. usual. He's about 15 As feet away, 20 feet you away. You know, if you would have stayed where you were... That would be no fun at all. Be no yeah, fun. <laughs> Come over here, the one I want to cast a specific spell on you, and it's just not... Sweet. Okay. In that case, I'm going to give it to... I'm going to move back five feet and give it to Gildan. So, Gildan, I'm casting protection from evil and good on you. Oh, nice. So for get... the elementals, we'll get disadvantage to attack you. Oh, very nice. You have a, uh, a pendant that you can drop on uh, on him? Or I, I gave guess... him effect already. Okay, good. Thank you. And I'm done. Very nice. I like it. All right, so let's go to the guards. Now the guard is uh, attacking this magman that just uh, and you know honestly a couple more a couple more guards also join into the fray, so I'm gonna add uh, a couple more guards and we'll uh, we'll get some more speed guards. bumps. Yeah. <laughs> as long as they keep the other ones uh, occupied, that's all that matters. So there we go. But the but the guard at hand, guard number one, he does uh, attack this magman, and he hits. Can you believe he actually hit? <laughs> Damn, getting excited. I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> hitting something finally. All right, when the so, mooks actually hit. Yeah, all oh, the mooks. Good old mooks. 
three uh, three piercing damage. Next, uh, 